hi so we are going to study uh, the lighting um, of different building colors how different building colors impact the reflectiveness of lighting passive lighting uh, inside a building i have here different colors different colored panels i also have um three uh, components from the house these are the walls these are the plain walls there are three plain walls that i have and then there is a there is the house base that i have i also have the clips here to assemble the semi house that we are going to require for this uh, experiment additionally i will require a couple of other equipments to be able to do this experiment uh, this is the torch uh, that we are going to use as the light source and this is the lux meter uh, we will be noting down readings through this uh, lux meter the idea of this experiment is that students would understand how just the colors inside the building how, how when you paint a building how how the colors also make a difference in um, in determining the passive lighting inside the building that's what students will uh, gain a visual understanding about so first we will um, look to assemble the semi house that is going to require uh, go going to be required for this uh, experiment we will take the base here as you can see this is the base and on this i will uh, assemble the the walls that we have for that i will uh, match this notch that we have uh, in the wall with the base uh, with with the hole in the base that we have provided and also we have to make sure that the lines that we have the grids uh, face outside i will match the other wall with the other side and i will use the clip here to fix fix this edge uh in the opening provided as you can see there is a opening for a clip and i will fix this clip inside this opening i have fixed one edge and i will also fix the other edge or other side this is my semi house assembly that i am going to require for this experiment i will put this uh, this colored panel here on the back wall just make sure that it's in the middle and i will have a so i will use this torch to to give this uh, to, as a light source to provide the lighting however i would need a small elevation to keep this torch on for now i have a box here that i am going to use we can use uh, books etc whatever we have just so that it's it's slightly elevated i am going to keep the torch like this and just match that it is come into the center of this panel the next part that i will 
uh, show you is how to take the reading. So the reading needs to be there uh, just on top. So the light, the the sensor of the lux meter needs to be kept just on top of the torch to get the readings. This is the assembly of this experiment. I have the assembly ready here. The first thing that I will do is I will switch off any lights in the room and I'll cut off any natural lighting that is coming inside a room through a curtain or, or any other, uh, other method. Uh, as you can see, we have reduced the lighting just to get uh, the actual values of reflections from this torch. Uh, so to start off, I will just switch on this torch, just adjust it again to the center and I will use this sensor here. I will switch on the lux meter and I will use this sensor to note down my reading of reflection just on top. So here I am getting a reading of 74 lux. This is a table, a simple table that I have it prepared uh, to note down my readings. Here, as you can see, the illuminance is 74. Similarly, I will repeat the same steps um, by changing the panel each time. As you can see, there are different panels here. I will change. Uh, each panel um, and note down the readings for readings for this panel and once I have all the, all the readings I will compare these readings to assess or to understand which of these wall uh, colors gives me the best reflection that will give students the idea of how they can incorporate these colors inside a building for passive lighting. Thank you.